What is going on, guys? Welcome to Stock Talk with Nico Criticos. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Snowflake stock because the stock just jumped up over 32% today after they reported a beat on earnings and they raised guidance for 2025. Also, multiple firms raised their price targets for the stock. So, trailing 12 months, we are looking at $3.4 billion of revenue. Keep in mind, this is a $57 billion company, so it is not trading at a cheap valuation. The last couple of years, we've seen anywhere from, I, I mean, I would say, honestly, 96% revenue growth is probably more, it says last 10 years, 40%, the last five years, 96%. Either way, look at the growth, 96 million five years ago, 2.8 billion last year, so or this year. So that's what's insane about this is their, their growth rates are incredible. Free cash flow is finally getting some consistency and some strong numbers, 750 million. And net income is the problem, though. As you can see, it gets worse and worse, losing almost a billion dollars a year. And their balance sheet was good, but if we actually get the more updated version of this, we can see debt just skyrocketed to 2.5 billion. Now, luckily, they still have over 4 billion in cash, so they can cover that, but the ratio just got dramatically worse. The big thing here, though, I mean, is why are they still losing money if they just did $3.4 in revenue? And why is the stock trading at $57 billion market cap if they're still losing money? I don't see why. You, why would you pay $57 billion for a company who's losing money? I mean, that means that it would take you who knows how many years, if not a decade plus, to make $57 billion back. Imagine if you spent $57 billion and the company still wasn't making money. What is it going to do its first year? Maybe a couple hundred million dollars of positive income? So how long does it take to get to $1 billion on the bottom line, let alone making back $57 billion? That's why I don't like seeing companies trade at. If you're losing money, best case scenario, you should be trading at maybe $5 billion or something like that. There's no reason to be trading at $10 billion plus if you're losing money. So that's kind of ridiculous with this. If you look at the price to sales, though, Somehow, in the last two years, this is the cheapest the stock has been trading, 13 times sales, which is insane. But now, with their update, let's say they do $4.4 billion in revenue next year. So we'll take one, what is the stock at, 171? 171 divided by $4.4 billion of revenue, you're looking at 39 times sales. That's a decent premium if that 39 times bottom line income is a decent premium, let alone 39 times top line revenue sales is insane. This is just, unless your company is growing over 100% per year, this is just insane to be trading at this valuation. They're putting up growth rates of 22 to 28%. This stock should be trading at like 10 times, not even 10 times sales. I mean, this is just, this is incredible. So let me get the, so what, what, what's not adding up here? $57 billion company, right? Divided by 4.4 in revenue, 13 times sales. So I see, so I just, okay, I did a calculation wrong. 13 times sales is the correct number here. I'm sorry, 13 times sales. That's, that's still pretty rich for a company who's losing money. Now they have them doing positive EPS, if, you're, if they're doing positive EPS for next year, I mean, for this year, you're paying 244 times earnings. That's outrageous. That's insane, overvalued by any metric. There's no way you can justify that pretty much. Next year, you're paying, your, for next year's earnings, you're paying 171 times. And we're talking about growth of almost 50%, maybe 40%, 45% in bottom line growth. And that's coming off of, of, Last year, they did a dollar EPS and it, it went down this year. So why is it trading at 278 times forward earnings? This says 287. That's insane. The stock, the stock should be, the stock should be $20. That's how much the stock should be, $20. So this is just insane that it's trading at this valuation. This is, some, something's not right here because the growth is not that great anymore. They're losing tons of money. Why, why are they... I mean, unless they got thirty billion in cash, which they don't, they have a billion. They have a billion or two in equity. So this makes no sense. This stock is overvalued, terribly overvalued. The stock should be twenty dollars a share.